Did you know that questions direct your focus? And whatever you focus on, you experience. And so are you asking yourself the right questions, especially on the path to financial freedom? My name is Joe Moffley with Master Life by Design. And today's video is two powerful questions that can rapidly accelerate you to financial freedom. All right, let's jump in. And as a peak performance coach, one of the greatest tools that I have is asking powerful questions. And so if you don't ask the right questions, you can't get the answers or discover what the answer are that you need in order to move forward in anything that you do, whatever it is, whether it's relationships or business or finances, whatever it may be. And so I want to share with you a little bit about my own personal journey and share with you two questions that can radically change the game for you. So what happens is most people ask themselves, how can I make more money? And or how can I make money? Either one is a question that you can ask yourself and I find that as a common theme. And what happens is usually we get this answer like, oh, let me go get a job or let me go take this extra time or let me work overtime, whatever it might be. And that question is just asking, how do you put more money in your pocket on a active income basis, right? And nothing's wrong with that if that's your goal or if you need more money for the holidays or whatever it is. But for you high performing entrepreneurs out there that are watching, how do I make more money? Well, go put 120 hours in a week. You can make more money. But is that the lifestyle that you want? Is that the outcome that you desire? I doubt it. So let me give you a question that I first started asking myself when I left my nine to five that I felt like was the perfect question at the time in order to start moving my life up that ladder of success. So the question I started asking myself was, how can I make money anywhere in the world? Because I don't know about you, but if you've ever worked a nine to five, again, nothing wrong with them, but you are usually locked in one location or you may be traveling, which is awesome, but you're on someone else's time and dime in order to do that, right? You don't get to go where you usually want to. Most jobs don't allow that to happen. So I started asking, how can I create or create income anywhere in the world? And when I met my wife, I just started becoming a coach. My wife was a mobile notary at the time, and as we started dating and she moved down to San Diego, we noticed that when we went to places like Florida or visited family in New Jersey, she couldn't earn income. Now, I could earn income, which was great because it was so different than when I worked in 9 to 5 or when I was in the Marine Corps. It was just a different way of thinking. So we started asking ourselves, how can we make money anywhere in the world? And so we ultimately decided that she would become a coach. And so we figured that that would change our life. And it did. It gave us the quality of our life increase because we could earn while we traveled. And wherever we went, whether it was Hawaii or New Jersey or anywhere in the world, we could earn money. Yes, it was active income, but it was a game changer for us. Now, when we talk about making money anywhere in the world, you can really make money online like internet marketing or marketing. You could do things on the phone like coaching or sales. Or one of the big ones is you can have a company where you leverage people and you can work at a distance, but you have other people doing the physical work for you. Those are really what you can do. Those are your options with this particular question. So after a few years of coaching, we started making more money. We would do it anywhere in the world. Life has been awesome. But at some point, it hit me. I was actually answering the wrong question or asking the wrong question, excuse me. And so this first question, if you work a nine to five, you may ask yourself this first question, how can I make money anywhere in the world? You may, your brain, because when you ask a question, your brain starts to think like, an, like a servo mechanism. It's looking for the answer. It's trying to lock in on that answer. And so, and what happens is in your brain, there's this thing called the reticular activating system, right? When you notice something or you have an awareness, it's kind of like your brain starts noticing it everywhere. For example, if you've ever bought a car, right? Maybe you bought a new Tesla, right? You're seeing new Teslas everywhere all of a sudden. You're like, I've never seen them before. It's because now that you have this awareness because of your reticular activating system, you see it everywhere, right? It's like, that's just how it goes. And so, we started having this great life, but we realized we were asking the wrong questions. See, here's what happened. 
we started getting around some high level people who were making lots of money and they had all this time. And I started wondering like, what are they doing that I'm not doing? Which is another really good question. You might wanna write that one down because there might be people in your life that you wanna model, right? You wanna model, success leaves clues, so you may wanna model them. And that you can actually do what they do. If you learned what they learned, they knew, and did what they do, you would have that lifestyle too. After being around these masterminds and getting around all these great people and started learning like, hey, they have this great lifestyle. They're not working a lot, but they make way more than me. I'm like, how does that happen? And I realized I was asking the wrong question. So the second most powerful question you can ask yourself is, how can I make passive income, an abundance of passive income, anywhere in the world? See, that's a whole different question because you go from trading time for money to creating, having your money create more money for you. And so you can do that through power, the power of real estate investing, creating a business where you don't have to be in there, but yet you're still making money. You have, you've leveraged people. You could do that by trading. You know, I see a lot of people using bots for trading. Um, that's passive income, right? You're not doing the work. And so there's many ways that you could go about this, but for me, I'm looking more at the real estate side of the house, right? Like I look at how can I do that through real estate and business? And so my wife and I, we actually bring our coaching company, we bring people into their organization, people's organizations that want to bring peak performance coaching into their company so that they can increase profitability, increase culture, right? And really help the company go and grow. And we bring our coaches and we help them be able to shift the culture and be able to shift their performance, be able to increase profitability for that company. And by default, the way we set it up, we get to create passive income that way, which is awesome. It's great. Our coaches get paid good. The employer gets great coaching and they're making more money. We're able to help train coaches, give them a great quality of life, and we get to create passive income. And the employee, they get to have um, shifts in their performance and in their personal life too. So it's a win-win-win all around. So we create passive income. That's our number one focus in this year is going out and looking and finding those companies that want peak performance coaching, like having a bunch of Tony Robbins in their company. Could you imagine having a bunch of Tony Robbins coaching your people and allowing yourself, your organization to grow at a rapid rate? Like it's just a win all the way around. So that's our focus. That's how we create passive income. Then we bring a lot of that money. We also then therefore invest it in real estate. And so we start getting passive income through real estate. Sometimes the investment pays off right away. Sometimes it pays off down the line. For example, we invested in a real estate startup uh, flipping company. And so they are actually starting in Q3 and four of this year, which is going to hopefully brings the prices down a little bit more, rates might be uh, might increase a little, but the way they're going about it is a little bit different. We also invested in a 150 unit storage um, facility, and so that's gonna be kicking off passive income each quarter here later this year, hopefully. And we have our Airbnb, our short-term rental, that actually creates passive income for us. So look, right now you gotta ask yourself, what's the primary question that I keep asking myself around finances, write it down, figure out what that is, and then look at what question do I need to adopt instead, the one that I gotta ask myself consistently, daily. And it might be right now, you might be, how can I create money anywhere in the world to kind of get you out your nine to five to create financial freedom? That might be the next step, but it's, how do you get out of your nine to five? Some of you might be having a business or whatnot, and you're like, how do I create passive income anywhere in the world and that is you might be taking the profits you got from your business and investing them into things like real estate. I have tons of deals all the time that come across. I have, uh, I'm in a real estate mastermind where there's a lot of opportunity to invest and get great returns. Hard money lending is a great opportunity too and create passive income basically. So you may need to ask these questions to help move you down the path. The question my wife and I are currently asking ourselves right now is how do we create six figures a month in passive income anywhere in the world? 
and we believe right now we've locked on for us, right? Everyone's different. Everyone's path is different, is bringing our coaching business where our coaches coach employees in organizations and provide massive value to themselves and the employees and the business grows and we create passive income from that opportunity. We can create a six figure a month passive income and then take that money and invest it in more real estate to get to that, get that to a point of six figures or more a month, right? And so then you start and then the third step is really investing in businesses, buying businesses, growing them, accelerating them, and then eventually selling them for a higher multiple. That is our plan. You gotta figure out what yours is. But the questions that you ask are going to drastically determine your financial future and if you ever hit financial freedom. Most people, they don't ask themselves quality questions. They don't only ask powerful questions that causes them to stop and look at their current situation and say, something needs to change here. And so if you're finding yourself in one of those positions where you're just like, I don't know what the questions are. I don't know what questions I need to ask outside of these two. Maybe you're ready for them, maybe you're not. Then reach out, you need some support, you need coaching. And I will tell you one of the greatest investments I ever made, and Alex Hermosi says it all the time, the greatest investment you can do is in you. Right? He's like, if I made $60,000 a year, my expenses, I'd keep them as low as possible. If I could get it under 30 grand a year, I'd invest the other 30 grand into myself, into a skill that could help me make more money. So you are your greatest asset. You are your greatest investment. So if you need a coach, reach out so we can support you and help you along your path. Because guess what? Time flies. You don't get it back. You can get money back. Right? But you just can't get time. And so I encourage you to reach out so we can support you in helping you along that path. I've helped dozens and dozens of people create financial freedom. In fact, I was just watching one of my clients over the weekend at a mastermind where there was literally over 20 guys that were financially free, had a, a seven figure or higher net worth, all in their 20s and 30s. How cool is that? And it doesn't mean they're flaunting about how much money they make or have. It's about having the time to do the things that are fun for them, to be able to go out and make an impact in the areas that are they're called to, where they believe God's calling them, right? It's like, you can, and I'm being honest here, you can't bring God glory, you can't honor God or honor your family when you don't have the resources to bless other people or those areas or charities. If you don't have those resources, you can only do so much. You're so limited. And I'm not just talking about money. I'm also talking about time because financial freedom is not about how much money you have or you make. It's about how much time you have. Can your bills be paid by your passive income? If so, you're financially free. You can spend that time and go ahead and earn and create more passive income and go out and do things that truly matter to you. Most people I coach, I've found that in the beginning, when we first get started, there's things they wanna do they just can't because they're restricted from time or money. And I'm not just talking about a job because I know a lot of people who own a business, they barely get by if they're getting by and they're working 80 plus hours a week. They have things they wanna to commit to, they have charities they wanna to give to, but they don't have the resources. So if you need help, reach out. But look at the questions you're asking yourself and say, is this supporting me? Is this the next question I should be asking in my journey to financial freedom? I give you two powerful questions that you can use to start walking you up that path. Now, for me, I asked how can we create six figures a month passively or more to create that anywhere in the world? That's the question we ask ourselves. Will it change? More than likely. It might be, how do we create 250,000? And, and here's what I want you to know, and then we'll wrap up here. It's not about the number, right? The number is insignificant. It's the drive to create a better life. It's the spirit of excellence to create a better life, to hit that next goal. If you've ever watched anyone who's successful, they got all the money in the world, they're like, why do you keep working, by the way? quick pro tip here, most successful people, they actually never stop working because they love what they do, right? And so what I would encourage you to do is, are you doing the best that you can 
on your path to financial freedom. Whether you're working a job or not, are you doing it with a spirit of excellence? And if you're always looking to go and grow, then the number, the financial number, is just a target for you to continue being excellent at whatever it is that you're doing. And so that number may grow and grow for us. It might go and grow for you, but it's, are you getting better? Are you doing it with the spirit of excellence? And for me, it's like, are you honoring God in the process, right? Are you blessing other people? Are you building his kingdom? And so, you know, I'm all about building the kingdom and making sure I make an impact while I'm here on earth, right? And that's the whole goal. So with that, if you feel like you have any questions, please comment below. I wanna know, what do you think? What are the questions that you've asked yourself? Because I will tell you, they're not the only questions, but they're two really powerful and good questions that you can start with right now to start helping you create your path to financial freedom. So comment below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and most importantly, share it with those people that you know that need to share it, and subscribe. Hit that notification button also so that more videos that come out you can be notified when they come out so you can get the knowledge or the tips or the interviews that you need to create your next step or your path to financial freedom. So with that, my name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.